Hello everybody, God bless you. I'm Prophet Shani Bedford and I believe that there's something that I have experienced that the Spirit of the Lord wants me to share with you guys. No, I had an encounter with one of my angels. Uh, that particular angel, I, I think I know very well based on, you know, my experience in work, co-laboring with that angel, you know, seeing that angel on a, on a daily basis or perceiving that that angel is there. I call him my angel of speed no a few months ago i had uh, i was having a discussion or a disagreement rather with my husband and i remember i i said some things that i shouldn't have said and none of those things were sinful none of those things were sinful none of those things were disrespectful i just had a disagreement and i chose to see things differently which is fairly okay no, I remember I said things like, you know, at this point, I'll cancel everything. At this point, it can stop and I don't care. And I just said some random things that women say. Maybe it was hormones. Maybe I was just being petty. I don't know what it was. But I know they weren't sinful. I know they weren't disrespectful. And it was just a mutual disagreement that I was having based on our conversation. No, here's what happened. A day after saying these things, and these things, these things had to do with you know just me individually, my purpose, my destiny, and who I was called to be. So the next day, I go into my bathroom, and I'm sitting in my bathroom, and I pray to the Holy Spirit. While praying to the Holy Spirit, I was praying in tongues and just meditating on God while sitting in my bathroom, my small little bathroom, and. In the realm of the spirit, I heard a sound. It sounded like a helicopter was coming closer and closer to where I am in proximity. Not only did I hear this sound, but in the spirit, with my spiritual eyes, I saw this angel just landed in my bathroom. Boom! It was this angel, as I said, I call him my angel of speed. Very, very, very fast. He moves so fast, I can't even explain. So he lands in my bathroom soon. Now when he lands, it's almost like he came through a metallic tunnel or something. But the best way I can explain it is it's almost like he came through a metallic tunnel and there were lots of beaming lights that were flickering from this tunnel that were flickering from the angel as he moved, as his wings moved. No, I'm looking at this angel and suddenly as I see the angel, I stop praying and I open my eyes and I look. When I looked, I saw the same form of a celestial being even with my eyes being opened. For the very first time, I wasn't afraid. Usually when I see angels up this close, I become terrified. But this time, I believe it's because I have become so used to this angel being present with me on a daily basis or on a consistent basis. I continue to pray because I felt the need that I felt, I felt a knowing in my spirit that the reason this angel is here and up so close with such speed and power, there has to be something that I need to know or I need to hear. So I continue to pray. Guys, the moment I continue to pray, I hear this angel say, you will have to give an account for everything that you see. The moment I heard this, I knew that was the angel that was talking to me. But here's the funny thing. I've seen this angel many times on a daily basis. I co-labor with this angel with ministry, deliverance, prophetic, etc. And I can't recall hearing this angel actually say something. I've seen them talk, not not just, just not through verbal means. Maybe they had a card over someone's head or maybe they were touching someone or they were doing something and by that that they communicated by them smiling or whatever it is and that was a language that they communicated that my spirit knew internally so I heard the angel say you will have to give an account for everything that you see suddenly I automatically knew within when you understand spiritual things there are certain things that your spirit begins to know and perceive naturally so immediately I knew that this is what the angel was talking about the things I said that would out of my destiny just the day before so I start to pray to the Holy Spirit and I start to repent for the things that I said now remember 
I did say that I didn't say anything sinful, anything disrespectful, or anything that you know required repentance, basically. But I started to repent. About ten seconds into repenting to the Holy Spirit, I hear again. I hear no. Go back and cancel everything that you said. Suddenly, and it was with so much power. It was with so much power and sternness. Oh my God! I started to cancel. I cancel everything that I spoke and everything that would alter my destiny, everything that would derail my purpose. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Then suddenly the angel just went. The moment I began to cancel, the angel just left my. And even now, as I talk, I feel the presence of angels and this is sometimes how I know that angels are here the moment I began to cancel I felt the angel of the Lord just left my presence and he went by God's speed so I can't even do it as fast as he did and but I looked in the realm of the spirit it's almost like the spirit of the Lord pulled me spiritual into the dimension and I saw the angel of the Lord just go in I saw my angel just go into the future into the realm of the atmosphere so this that you're looking at around you is some of you are not seeing anything you're just seeing an object in front of you but while I was in the atmosphere it's almost like time froze and I saw I saw ear I saw the atmosphere atmosphere I saw space I saw everything but what I saw was the words that I spoke that were in the future in the atmosphere waiting on the right time to begin to manifest and work against me but while I was canceling I saw the angel did this and the angel began to pull back the words I spoke from the atmosphere. And that was all that I saw. The moment I saw that I began to weep in the presence of the Lord. And the Lord reminded me of the scripture. The scripture says there is life and death in the power of your tongue. The Bible also speaks about being mindful for idle jesting. When you come into difficult situations, you have to be very careful and mindful what you say. A lot of times, the thing that is working against your purpose and your destiny, the curse that is altering who you will become or what will manifest for you in your life, it's not a curse from witches. It's not a curse from witchcraft or you know evil altars. But oftentimes, it is what we say out of being frustrated or disappointed. Sometimes we say, oh, maybe it's not meant to be or maybe I, it's the reason maybe this is why it will happen or I'm cursed or you know nothing will work out for me I'm always losing I'm always failing the very things that you say will become a curse over your own life to whom much is given much is required especially as a prophetic person you have to be very careful what you say no, this is a valuable lesson that I should have already known. But because of me saying certain things, God allowed my angel to come and to allow me the opportunity to go and cancel. I want you to begin to sit today and reflect on the things that you probably would have said. Maybe your mother said, your father said, or maybe the things that you said over your own life. Even if you can't remember, I just want you to begin to pray this simple prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cancel cancel every negative word that I have spoken over my own life. I cancel every curse that I've spoken over my own life. Everything that I have said unintentionally that would cause my purpose to be altered or destroyed out of fear, intimidation, disappointment, hurt, rejection, abandonment, anything I've said because I was in a bad situation or a low place, I cancel it from my life in the name of Jesus and I speak life over myself I speak life over you I speak life over your marriage life over your children life over your destiny and I declare that every good thing that God has given to me every good thing that God has given to you I declare it will live it will flourish and it will prosper in Jesus mighty name I share this with you so you can be mindful of the things that you say over your own life despite what you're feeling and what you're going through. God bless you.